Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today is Wednesday. Today is the day we're gonna name a contest winner. But first, we're gonna talk about how much money do you wanna make on eBay or Poshmark a month? We're gonna go through some numbers, go through some figures, see what you have to do to increase your sales and so that you can make more. Stay with us, we'll be right back. this is your first time here at Rockin' Robin's Garage Sale Finds, I want you to know we sell on eBay, we sell on Poshmark, we sell on Facebook Marketplace, and we also sell at the flea market. So those are the four ways that we buy items and sell them. So I'm going to look at how much money do you want to make if you sell on eBay or Poshmark. Do you want to make $200 a month? Do you want to make $400 a month? Do you want to make $1,000 a month? How about $2,000 a month? And what about $5,000 a month? How about more? Okay. Now, most people, when they buy items, we're going to say they average $15 to $20 profit. That's what I look to get. Sometimes I get less, sometimes I get more. So if you want to make $200 a month and you do this part time, you need to sell. 10 to 13 items. If 400 is your goal, you need to sell 20 to 26 items. If 2000 is your goal a month, you need to sell 100 to 150 items. And if $5,000 a month is your goal, you need to sell 400 to 500 items. This is at a 15 to $20 profit. Let's say in the last 30 days that I made $2,500, okay? And let's say I sold about 200 items. I would have had to list probably around 600 items, have at least 600 items up, which means if you're selling 600 and you have 600 in order to make 2,500, you have to keep relisting. So you'd have to keep relisting 200 a month, but to keep it at 600. If you made 5,000 last month, if I went and I made 5,000, that means I needed to have about 1,300 items listed. And then uh, we needed to make 15 to $20 profit. Now, part time, if you're doing this, 200 to 500 a month is very doable. You need to list 150 to 200 items. You need to keep at least 200 items listed at all times so that you make 200 to 500. If you're doing this full time, you want to make at least 1,000 to 5,000, maybe more. Uh, more money you make, you need more employees. If you're just starting out and you have no inventory, it's going to take you one or two months for enough inventory just to make $2,000 a month. $1,000 a month, you need to list about 400 items. $2,000 a month, you need to list seven to 800 items a month or have listed on a continual basis. I'm saying to be sure, uh, you know, you can do less, it depends on what you sell, but you need to list good items, that's key. And when you need to want to take it to the next level, you have to sell either items with a bigger profit or you have to hire people. Now let's say uh, I sell 10 items with a profit that's $30 or more, and three of those 10 items I sell for a $100 profit, okay? Just those 10 items would equal about $510 and that would be 20 to 21 small items. So see, I only sold 10, but they made more. So it was equal to double. So you need to look at bigger items if you want to make more money. You can't stick with 15 to $20 items. If you want to make more money, you either have to list more, you have to list bigger items, or you have to have employees. Now, I think, I, I've heard a lot of people say different, but I think if you want to make $5,000, more than $5,000, let's say you want to make more than $5,000, you either need to sell them with huger profits, the items need to have a, around $100 profit items, you need to hire help you need to list, pack, or find the items. Otherwise, I would say for one person alone to make $5,000 a month on eBay, just listing themselves and doing it all themselves, if their profits were $15 to $20 an item, 
they would still only make five thousand a month that's sixty thousand dollars which is not bad but it's difficult for one person to make more without having help or without having a bigger profit margin so if your goal is to make more than sixty thousand dollars a year you need to find items that sell and you make a bigger profit maybe fifty to a hundred dollars at least and then you need to list more items or you need to hire employees. Now, when I had a store, I had three employees. Okay, myself and two others. I had another one part-time who was often on packing and different things like that. But I needed two of us to go out and just buy. And then I had one that, that listed and did some packing. And then I had one that part-time to pack. And that would be on occasion. So I really had four people, but Two were part-time and two were full-time. And yes, we made about 100000 in sales. And we had people come in and bring stuff. So that was different because we didn't do it all ourselves. We had people bring us items on consignment as well. But I could not do it by myself because either I have to find a real good item that I'm going to make $100 a piece on if I'm going to make more than 60000 a year or I have to have employees. So if you're looking to do eBay, keep all these things in mind. Bigger priced items or more employees. If you're gonna to stick to the 15 to $30 profit, 15, $20, it's hard to make more than 60,000 a year by yourself and pack it and put it up and find it and all those types of things. You have to have some kind of other catch. Sometimes it's people who uh, you worked for a company and they you can buy items from them wholesale so you can put up a ton of them and you don't have to keep relisting them. Da, there you can make more money. Uh, maybe it's um, you buy something at a store and you just list it once and you sell 25 a month. There you can make bigger money. Or if you have a big priced items that you sell and you can get your hands on, then it's definitely possible to make more than that. But in my eyes, a lot of these people who work by themselves and sell items for 15 to $20 in profit each time, there's no way they're gonna make more than 60,000 by themselves. They have to make a bigger profit or they have to have a lot of one item. So those are what I think. Now I wanna tell you the contest. Da, 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 da. I've been waiting for the contest. Yes, we are going to pick a contest winner. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. We do contests. Uh, sometimes it's every hundred, sometimes every 200. We'll see. I haven't decided yet. And we give out different things. And we, we come out Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And on Fridays, we do our tip of the week. This Friday, we're going to show you all the things we bought at garage sales and thrift stores. And we're going to do our tip of the week. I'm very excited about that. But now it's time. All right. Let's see who our winner, our contest winner. I have their name in here. <laughs> Adventures That Rock. Yes, I know Adventures That Rock. Adventures That Rock told me their tip was they were, um, they liked that I told them to find shipping supplies locally so you don't have to pay to have them shipped to you the items like um, plastic bags or bubble wrap or uh, boxes. If you can find a local wholesaler, then you can go and pick them up if they're local. You don't have to pay them shipping to you. And the items are usually cheaper because a lot of people will buy those items and then resell them on eBay because they're cheaper. I don't do that, but some people do. So that was Adventures That Rock. Congratulations. You have won a $20 iTunes card. So this is Rock and Robin. I hope you liked everything we had. And I want to give a special shout out to Sheila, my neighbor, who loves when I say, go out there and make yourself some money. See you on Friday. Have a good week.